Hey everybody, Dr. Wessel Couch here with another math and Minecraft episode. I want to start by wishing you a very happy Pi Day. And in honor of Pi Day, we're going to approximate Pi in Minecraft for the second time. You may recall the first time we tried to approximate Pi. We get our approximation for Pi as Pi is approximately equal to 3.283. That definitely wasn't our strongest approximation. The method we used in that approximation is known as the Monte Carlo approximation. Today, we're going to use a different technique. We're going to use the Buffon's Needle approximation. All right, let's get started. Before we talk about our method, note that when you throw a trident in Minecraft, its length is approximately two blocks. This fact is going to come in handy later. So what exactly is Buffon's Needle problem? Let me explain that to you. In the 18th century, Buffon posed this question. Suppose we have a floor made of parallel strips of concrete, each the same width, and we drop a needle onto the floor. What is the probability that the needle will lie across a line between two strips? It turns out that the answer depends on the width of the strips and the length of the needle. In our case, the strips will be two blocks wide, and our needle will be a trident, which we saw is two blocks long. Let x be the distance from the center of the trident to the closest parallel line, and let theta be the acute angle between the trident and one of those lines. It's not hard to see that the trident crosses one of the lines if x is less than or equal to sine of theta. In this picture, the trident does not cross the line because x is larger than sine of theta. x could be any value between 0 and 1, and theta could be any value between 0 and pi over 2. So to solve Buffon's needle problem, we need to find what proportion of points theta x in this rectangle satisfy x is less than or equal to sine of theta. Well, the area of the rectangle is pi over 2. And the area under the x equals sine theta curve is the integral from 0 to pi over 2 of sine of theta d theta. With a little bit of calculus, we know the value of that integral is 1. So the proportion of points in the rectangle that lie under the x equals sine theta curve is 1 over pi over 2, which is 2 over pi. We're going to use this fact to approximate pi. Now you may be wondering, how are we going to get tridents to be randomly dropped? Well, that's when the drowns come in. The drowned is a trident-throwing zombie. It throws its tridents at villagers, even if the villager is too far away. The trident stays in the ground for one minute, and then it despawns. I set up a circle with a villager in the center. I will send a number of drowns around the circle, and they will throw their tridents at the villager at a random angle. These tridents may or may not cross a line when it lands. Every minute, I will take a screenshot from above the villager and count the total number of tridents on the ground and the total number that cross a line. After a few screenshots, we could calculate pi. All right, Mr. Villager, 
I'm sorry to put you through this, but it's for the good of humanity. Let's bring out the drowns. I feel like our approximations get more and more bizarre every week. Let's see how we did. Here are the screenshots that I took. A total of 277 tridents crossed a line, out of a total of 433 tridents thrown. Taking the reciprocal and multiplying by 2, we have pi is approximately 3.1264. I'm really happy with this. Only off by 0.5%. Anyway, I had a lot of fun making this video and I'm really happy with how accurate our approximation was. Let me know in the comments if you have any ideas for a future Math and Minecraft episode. I always love hearing from you. And share this video with your friends. It will really help me grow my channel. Make sure to smash the like button before you get out of here. Alright, bye bye.